So let's talk about some legislature stuff. The Violence Against Women Act is headed to the Senate for renewal. It's a law that's been around since 1994. It was actually introduced by Joe Biden back when he was a senator. It does, it does a lot of things, like providing money to prosecute domestic violence and other violent crimes against women. It also punishes people convicted of those crimes. It actually expired two years ago, and it was part of President Biden's campaign. He, he promised to, to renew it, to bring it back. Well, that's what they're trying to do right now. And every Democrat and 29 Republicans in the House voted to pass this new version of the act, while more than 170 Republicans voted no, including two from our area, Washington's Jamie Herrera Butler and Oregon's representative Cliff Bentz. We reached out to both of them to see why they voted the way they did. We haven't heard back from Representative Bentz yet. We'll let you know when he returns our messages. But Jamie Herrera Butler said this. I've been a consistent supporter of the Violence Against Women Act and had already co-sponsored a clean extension of this important legislation to provide funding certainty for its programs. Unfortunately, the version of VAWA Democratic leaders put forth this week contains overly partisan provisions that will doom it in the Senate. Assisting survivors of assault and protecting against domestic violence are too important for political gamemanship. We should cut through the politics and process and pass a version with strong bipartisan support now. Now, she didn't exactly say what her problem was really with this version of the bill. So we asked for some clarification and her communications director told us one of the issues was the quote, lack of due process for suspending Second Amendment rights. So what does that mean exactly? Well, we can assume, I think, that it's a reference to the bill's attempt to close what they call the boyfriend loophole. So what is that exactly? Well, let me explain. If you are married and you get convicted of violence against your spouse, you can't buy a gun. You're barred. But if you're unmarried, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, partners, the same rules do not apply. Now, Republicans have said the provisions to the boyfriend loophole in the past have just been too broad, meaning, you know, how exactly to, to determine someone is a boyfriend, you know, one date, one year, living together. There's no specific way to define that. And truthfully, who's to say? This is the reason Republicans voted it down two years ago when they controlled the Senate. Now, the new version, right, is, is moving through uh, so far. And this law also includes protections for people in the LGBTQ community and undocumented immigrants. The Violence Against Women Act heads to the Senate now, and Democrats have the majority there, but only slightly. They only have 50 seats, so they might need some help from Senate Republicans uh, to get on their side here if they want to stop a filibuster.